Hi VC, this is Kostis and this is uh, another entry into my recent finds uh, series. Uh, I'll be showing some records I picked up recently. This will not be uh, 2023 releases like my last video. But uh, I think uh, they're very nice records worth uh, showing. And I'll start with the punk stuff. Uh, this is... Uh, Generación uh, Suicida, a punk band from LA. Uh, this is their record from two, uh, 2016 called Sombras. Um, it was released in on uh, Doomtown Records, Symphony of Destruction Records, um, Drunken Sailor Records and Sabotage Records. Uh, but actually this is, I think, this is my version, the, the EU version. Uh, this was actually first released on Going Underground Records, which uh, I know from uh, Vinyl Ritchie is also uh, a label and a record, uh, a record store in Bakersfield, California. So yeah, these guys started putting out uh, their stuff on Going Underground. And I think Vinyl Ritchie has shown their first one uh, the one with the uh, uh, red cover. I'm really looking uh, to find that one. Yeah, I love this band. Uh, the thing I like most uh, about them is that uh, uh, they have uh, two guitarists and uh, this guy here is the lead guitarist and he has such a clean tone and plays such uh, melodic uh, stuff. Uh, it reminds you a little bit of Guards or Surf Rock. Uh, but the whole band has a, a really a good sense of melody. Uh, they don't use that much distortion, uh, although their tracks are, are really hard hitting. And, uh, and the vocals are both shouted, but uh, they also have some uh, melodies in them. So yeah, it's uh, one of my favorite bands, punk bands nowadays uh, okay and th there was a nice booklet inside which contains a comic book oh I forgot to mention the uh, sing in Spanish and the comic book is also written in Spanish so I haven't really tried to translate it yet and yeah this is what the labels look like 45 rpm a short record my version is the blue vinyl version. Okay, another Spanish speaking band, this time from Spain. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Somos La Gerencia. Uh, the album title is Dolo. It was released uh, in 2020 on uh, Humo Internacional, a Spanish label. I th which uh, from which I think I've shown many records. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of a dark post-punk uh, with uh, hints of uh, industrial and uh, even some uh, gothic uh, atmosphere, maybe. Really cool uh, labels. Yeah, it's probably uh, my favorite, one of my top 10 favorite records of uh, 2020. Moving on, if you remember by uh, from my uh, last video, I've shown uh, Gelela uh, with her uh, latest album, Raven. This is their uh, previous one from uh, 2017. It's called Take Me Apart. It, this was also uh, released uh, on Warp uh, Records, the UK label, like uh, the newer one. And uh, this is uh, pretty much in the same vein as the newer ones, uh, like uh, alternative R&B music uh, mixed with electronic stuff, although this is more poppy and less ambient and less down uh, tempo. It's a little bit more upbeat. Um, it's really great as well. Um, yeah, and one thing of note about this, uh, I think it also 
came out on uh, a double uh, vinyl version. I have the single vinyl version, um, which surprisingly is uh, uh, it sounds really nice. Uh, considering it has uh, nearly 50 or maybe uh, a little bit more than 50 minutes of mu music uh, on here. Uh, the only thing is that uh, you have to turn it up, the volume. Otherwise, it's, uh, it sounds perfectly uh, fine. And I don't really mind turning the volume up as long as it's uh, very crystal and quiet pressing. Yeah, for this kind of music, it helps to have good pressing. Uh, some uh, uh, more R&B, alternative R&B. This is uh, Sudan Archives. Uh, she uh, is also from the U.S. This is the, uh, this is her uh, 2022 uh, release. Uh, Natural Natural Brown Prom Queen is the title uh, released on stone's throw great label with jazzy hip hoppy stuff uh, double album pretty fancy vinyl yeah i i really enjoy her music I haven't listened to anything else she's done, but this record for last year it was one of my favorites, but I only now managed to get this. Um, yeah, the uh, one interesting thing about her is that she plays the violin and um, many tracks uh, have uh, vinyl, uh, uh, violin uh, passages. And uh, some tracks are actually uh, written upon uh, uh, violin melodies. Uh, yeah, uh, very interesting. Uh, left field uh, R&B, you could say. Uh, maybe if you like uh, uh, Caesar uh, and uh, stuff like that, not that uh, really com commercial R&B, you will like this as well. Although I should say this is also very catchy and poppy. It has some art pop uh, uh, stuff as well. So yeah, pretty great one. Now, a really nice reissue. Uh, this record, uh, John Tsikai with strings. Uh, this was a record originally released on CD. Uh, in 2005, I think, uh, and uh, I have been looking for either the CD or this reissue for uh, quite a while. Actually, no, I wasn't aware this was uh, uh, reissued on vinyl for the first time, and I just uh, uh, saw it on my local record store and I immediately grabbed this. So, uh, John uh, Tsikai is... Uh, <clears throat> A saxophonist uh, from the U.S. He uh, free jazz saxophonist. He has played with John Coltrane and lots of lots of uh, other uh, great uh, musicians from the the sixties and seventies. Uh, he came uh, in Europe. Uh, I think he was living in Sweden for a long time uh, to, you know, continue his uh, career like so many free jazz musicians from the 60s did. And eventually he came back and yeah, he is, uh, he has sadly passed away, of course, uh, <clears throat> uh, or not. I hope, I hope I haven't, you know, like killed John Tsukai. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so this is uh, really interesting <clears throat> because uh, he plays his uh, saxophone stuff over uh, pre-recorded -re -pre and produced uh, electronic sounds and the string arrangements made by uh, John Coxon and uh, Mark Sanders, is it? And Ashley Wales. Uh, these guys... Uh, uh, 
uh, were known for being uh, oh man I can't remember right now uh, so these guys are from from the UK they initially uh, started off as a drum and bass project in the uh, mid 90s uh, and then they uh, really uh, took a left turn and started uh, you know uh, doing uh, improvised jazz stuff uh, but I have to remember the the name of the band. Come on. Uh, Spring Hill Jack. Okay, I remember it. Yeah, Spring Hill Jack. So uh, they they have done many great productions uh, with other jazz musicians as well. Um, lots of stuff on the label Thirsty Year. This is a label called uh, Treader. You can see here yeah really great uh, <clears throat> uh, mellow uh, but uh, really interesting the quirky jazz uh, some 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 of this is really melodic I mean uh, don't let the free jazz tag uh, put you off uh, 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 yeah, I can't remember the correct uh, expression. Uh, don't let it uh, turn you away from this. Uh, it's uh, quite uh, an easy listen, considering it's uh, uh, free jazzy. Yeah, and yeah, the 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 labels are pretty plain. Okay, and now uh, <clears throat> I'll show this guy right here. Now this is a little more uh, uh, difficult as a listen, not that uh, because this guy here, J H Guraz, I think he's from uh, no. I better not say because I'm not really sure where he's from maybe from Hungary but yeah not sure anyway uh, he's a guitarist uh, he plays the experimental uh, <clears throat> uh, music uh, I mean in this particular album uh, he mixes uh, field recordings with um, John Fahey like uh, guitar playing you know the th the American primitive prim primitivism uh, uh, thing, the folk, uh, uh, this folk uh, uh, wave that uh, John Fahey uh, started with the Tacoma label in the 60s. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, and really weird really weird artwork isn't it uh, it it was released on uh, maple death records a nice label from uh, Italy and what was the date again oh, 2020 although these recordings were uh, uh, produced and recorded between uh, December 2014 and uh, June 2015. Yeah, really great experimental uh, avant-garde guitar album. And uh, another one from uh, Maple Death Records. This guy here, Black Sagan or Sagan. Sounds like Black Sabbath or something, a little bit. So this is uh, <clears throat> an Italian uh, electronic composer. Uh, he he uses analog synths. He has lots of different analog synths and makes some kind of weird uh, electronic, uh, let's say, library music. But there is uh, also some crowd rock in here especially electronic stuff like uh, Kraftwerk 
Yeah, and this is a, <clears throat> a really interesting album. It comes in this very nice gatefold. Uh, so it's it's a very interesting album. It's actually a concept concept album about uh, <clears throat> the abduction of uh, uh, a president uh, of uh, Italy, prime minister of Italy. Uh, I think this happened in the 70s. The president's name was pretty cool. Uh, inner uh, Aldo Moro, yes by the Red Brigade, uh, the organization, uh, the terrorist organization Red Brigade in the 70s. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, a long album, double album. Uh, uh, really spacey, spooky, weird uh, stuff going on. And I also his first one on CD, his first release, uh, A Personal Voyage, it's called. It's pretty much uh, in the same vein as uh, the other one. Uh, uh, although uh, maybe a little bit more uh, <clears throat> easier to get into. I mean, this one... Yeah, I didn't say, uh, didn't pronounce the title, uh, but I don't think I can do it justice. So, yeah, this one, <clears throat> it's really interesting, but uh, I had to listen to it uh, uh, maybe three times to really uh, get into it. I, I listened to this on Bandcamp. Uh, I mean, why I mean, why I kept, you know, going back and back? Uh, again to listen to it because even from the first time it sounded really interesting but uh, because it, it's a long album and it's, uh, it's uh, a little bit repetitious and minimalist at some points yeah it takes a little bit time to digest but uh, afterwards it's, it's really nice so these were my uh, uh, latest finds hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one in the next one